All right, first of all, Ryan, welcome to uh, the Padre organization. How are things so far? Thank you, everything's been good. It's been, uh, it's been fun putting together the spring training schedules and watching it unfold and uh, kind of cruising around on the golf cart, making sure everything runs smooth and the process of getting to know so many new faces. I think that was kind of a, uh, the first goal coming into camp with the non-communication being able to happen during the lockout. So just having a chance to see somebody face to face and introduce yourself and start to find out what makes guys tick and how you're going to interact with them has been a, uh, an enjoyable process up to this point in camp. I was about to say, how much do you enjoy that? But I can see the smile on your face. So obviously it's fantastic. Bit, yeah. I mean, just that, that initial reaction or initial uh, uh, greeting or, or uh, meeting can just be set the tone for the rest of the season. So to get off on a good foot and get to know them and try to build some kind of a relationship of trust as fast as we can is a, an important part of a, a coach's responsibility every single season. No doubt about that. A lot of years in the A's organization. Big adjustment or, or maybe not as big as you might You know think. what? I thought it might be a big adjustment. Yeah. Obviously, it's it's a different feel, not good or in a good or a bad way. It's just different, which I'm sure all organizations are to an extent. But uh, I've had familiar faces, some familiar faces in the building. When uh, the day I got over here, there was a couple minor league coaches that I've had uh, some interactions with over in Oakland. I knew Robbie Hammock uh, from managing against him in the minor leagues. Uh, Carlos Chavez, who's a pitching coach. Um, obviously, Bo Mel and Matt Williams were already here. The rest of the big league staff, we've just gelled right off the bat and uh, having the opportunity to kind of game plan and get ahead of uh, some stuff that you would early in spring training even though we weren't allowed to have players around was a great opportunity for us i know every organization didn't have that and i've talked to some people in that situation and they're kind of in scramble mode right now so it was been great just to get ahead of the the game in that fashion and now we're hitting the ground running and it seemed like we got everything in place to start these games and we're ahead of the game when the opening day comes so we're going to be ready to go and i just can't wait for that opportunity you mentioned the staff i mean it seems like a really neat collection of guys i mean you have all kinds of different personalities obviously different perspectives different ages I mean everything like that it really seems like a neat group it's come together you know just everybody bringing a little different aspect from the organization they come from you have the the holdovers the guys that have remained like Flash and Fritzy and uh, and Peter so it's been a great group we've gotten together uh, multiple times throughout this whole process and uh, we just seem to have a great uh, mesh together so far and we've been working well was coaching something you were always interested in? Did that develop maybe as your career developed or, or how did you find You know, interestingly this, yeah. enough, as a player, I don't think I really saw myself getting into coaching. I was uh, went to Pepperdine. I was a couple classes away from getting my degree when I finished my playing career, finished that up, kind of see it, saw myself getting into the business world and working that way like uh, some of my friends had that, uh, that I kept in touch with. Uh, my career ended uh, abruptly and when I figured out I wasn't going to be able to play anymore, I literally got up one morning and said, I'm going to go out and find a job today. and kind of was living in Carlsbad at the time and walked into a, a mortgage bank and I started talking to some people and I was like, you know what, this kind of feels like it might be a, a decent move for myself. And it was about the time the market was turning, the, the industry was going in a little wonky direction. Uh, after about two years, I was like, I don't know if I really enjoy sitting behind the desk every day. And I had some friends that I was observing from the game that were in coaching and talked to them and they were enjoying themselves. And I had an opportunity to move to Atlanta and get involved with uh, some amateur baseball stuff and an academy type deal. And I enjoyed it. It was good to be get back in the game. Um, the deal that I went back through, went back there for fell apart at one point. And I was like, you know what? I think I'd like to try to get into professional baseball. I made some phone calls, happened to land in, in Oakland, which was where I would played. And I knew a lot, there was still a lot of familiar faces there. Keith Littman was the farm director. Grady Fuson was there who I knew as a player. And it couldn't have been a better fit for me at the time. I mean, Keith Littman does such a great job with the player development staff over there, not only with the players, but with the coaches to help them develop their leadership styles and take ownership of that and just have literally like an hour session every morning where you talk about how you're going to develop yourself as a better coach. So I couldn't have landed in a better spot, enjoyed managing through the minor leagues for five years, developed a great relationship with Bob uh, at the big league level. He asked me to be the bench coach in 2018, stepped into that role. He and I hit it off great. We've had a great working relationship for the last four years. And then when he got this uh, gig down here in San Diego and lobbed the phone call to me at the, the right time to ask if I'd consider coming down here, I was flattered. I was very excited. Obviously, I've been watching uh, San Diego from afar on the other side of the field for many years. I admire and love watching all the players and to have the opportunity to not only join him, be with great players, but to have an opportunity to be a part of a group to bring San Diego the first world championship of any kind is uh, something that's just so unique. And I was just excited and I couldn't be happier to jump on that opportunity and be here now. You mentioned your time at Carlsbad. We'll circle back to some of the Southern California stuff because you got a lot of roots in the area. Uh, but, but what does it mean to be a bench coach for Bob Melvin? It can be different, obviously, working for different guys. Well, I mean, this is my primary role right now, and a big part the way we kick the day off or the season off is just to put out these daily schedules, organize the camp. Um, he trusts me with that, uh, lets me do my thing and plan the days how I see 
uh, fit. So that's that's a huge thing that I can take off of his plate. As the season gets going, uh, kind of the same type of duties. There are certain things that I do for him prior to the game to help him uh, prepare as best he can. And then I have, obviously, I have such a good relationship with him now. I know what kind of questions he's going to ask me throughout the game so I can prepare my card accordingly and uh, you know just get him answers that he needs in a, a timely fashion during the heat of battle and he appreciates that and we have a, like I said we have a great working relationship doing it the last four years so it's worked out well and happy to keep this relationship going. Really neat. Okay so you've lived in Carlsbad, you've lived in Cardiff, yep. uh, you grew up uh, at least part of the time in Riverside, you went to Pepperdine, you got some real Southern California stuff going on. I here. do yeah all my family is from Southern California, Inland Empire roots, moved to the high desert a little bit in high school and then uh, as a player had a chance to live in Cardiff and uh, Carlsbad after I was done and North County is absolutely probably one of my favorite spots in the whole country. I've lived in quite a few, but uh, I love North County, San Diego, love the city of San Diego. Um, just there's nothing like being on the coast there as when I, mean, I was living there, actually picked up surfing at the time and just loved getting there in the water right at the reef and uh, some of the spots along uh, the North County and it's just a great spot. Great to have Ryan Christensen, not only with the Padres, but back in San Diego. Thanks yes, so much, sir. man. I appreciate it.